Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and today I wanted to bring you a quick showcase of something I came up with. A selectable auto-harvesting carrot, potato, and wheat farm. And let me show you how it works. So basically you got three layers of farmland that you can plant your crops on. And uh, for instance here on the first floor I did carrots, second floor potatoes, third floor wheat. And you can see I got my item frames to show uh, the designation there. And then you can come over to this control panel and select which ones you want to harvest. So for instance, if I want carrots and wheat, I can select those two. And I come over and I hit this button. And as you can see, the water is released. And those layers that I selected will then flush the crops down. And... They'll just come down to the spot here where you can stand. And you heard it shut back off. It's on a timer. So the water should be retracted now. And see, you still have tilled soil that you can replant everything back on, uh, which is really simple to do so. You just climb up this ladder, head off to the side, and start replanting. And you can bone mill it or let it grow in time and ready for the next one. And you can get to all three floors this way. And just to show you that this works in any combination, I can flip these two back off. And this time only go for the potatoes. Hit the button again. And you'll see the water is released. Here comes my potatoes down to the area there where you can stand and collect. And as soon as all the potatoes are off the soil the water is retracted so let me grab those and then I'll give you a peek under the hood basically what we got here is all three levers are wired up to their own NAND gates um, which then goes off to their respective layers so you can see that first one right there goes on to this one, this line right here, layer one, layer two connects, and then layer three. And the other part of the NAND gate is your button. So basically your button activates an RS NOR latch here. And uh, once activated, the signal will stay on uh, to make your NAND gate uh, false, which will turn the signal off and retract these pistons here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, at the same time, it activates this this long delay, a bunch of repeaters, and when it finally signal gets all the way back around, it will reset the RS NOR latch and the signal will turn off. And what these signals are basically doing on each layer is extending this set of pistons here uh, with water sources above them. So as soon as it loses signal, they retract and the water flushes down onto the pad and we'll flush out all your crops on that layer. And that's basically it. So pretty simple. It's just something I've never seen done yet. I wanted to put a unique spin on on farming these crops because uh, crop farming isn't the uh, most exciting thing in the game. So we might as well add a little redstone and make it somewhat interesting. So I will uh, put this up for download. I'll leave a link in the description so you can download it yourself and, and reverse engineer it and break blocks and see exactly how it's built. Um, and if you do like it enough and, and you want to see me do a you know block by block how to build this t type of tutorial, I'll be happy to do so. Um, just let me know that it's something that you'd be interested in, maybe in the comments. Uh, give me some likes and uh, I'll be happy to spend some time doing that tutorial for you. So hopefully something you guys could use in your own world and something you think is, is at least unique uh, and cool. And that's all I have to show you for today. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.